When I was a child, I was scared of the dark. I swore to my mother I heard voices in it. They were not evil, but they are not familiar and so they scared me. It was not uncommon in the middle of the night for me to wake up and hear whispers, as I would call them when asking my mum. She figured they were just bumps in the night and typical kids nightmare material. I tried often to explain to her that it was more than that, that it sounded different from one another the way people's voices do. On some nights I would get so scared from these whispers that I would sleep in my mum's bed with her. It was an added bonus that the bathroom was directly outside of her bedroom door for my late night tinkles. I should add at this point that when walking into the hall to go to the bathroom, you look directly down the stairs that would lead you into the living room on the first floor as my aunt's bedroom was on the second floor. On one such night around Christmas, I awoke and felt the need to relieve myself. I walked out from the door and distinctly heard the phrase, Look! And to my astonishment, a red light, almost like a spotlight, was cast upon the wall at the very bottom of the stairs. The light had no other source. It was by itself and I was transfixed by it. Being a little kid and it only being a few days from Christmas, I knew what the light was. It was Santa. How else could he get into my house to know I was being a good boy? I was so excited I began walking down the stairs to greet him, picking up my pace after the second step as it began to creep up the wall and fade into the darkness in my living room. That's when I heard him, a very strong masculine voice, different from the first, not at all like my father's. Not to say he isn't masculine, it was just distinctly different. It said, STOP RIGHT NOW! GO BACK UP THE STAIRS! I listened, turned round, and what happened next I am not sure I would believe if someone hadn't told me the same story. After reaching the top of the stairs, I heard a very loud crash that sent me running back to my mother's bed where I jumped straight under the covers and stayed there the whole night. When we woke the next morning, the Christmas lights that my mother had put on the railing down the stairs were pulled straight down to the bottom of the stairs, some broken from what seemed like a forceful tear, laying in a single pile. The dry sink in my living room had fallen from the wall. My mother could not explain it. My father was worried we had been victims of a home invasion. My sister was crying. There was nothing missing. Nobody had broken in. There did not seem to be any reason this had happened. And then I saw it. And I kept quiet about it because I was so afraid that I could not force my words out my mouth. There, on the edge of the wooden dry sink which had been basing up, were three indentations where the finish of the wood had been worn, almost as if in forceful grip. Something down there had grabbed it and threw it down. That was what the bang was. I was mortified. After that day, I had never heard a single voice again. I do not like to imagine what was waiting downstairs for me that night. If it was anything at all, I can tell you that the reality was that something had physically acted upon two things in my house near the bottom of that stairwell. After this, I had never heard another whisper again, which is sad because in some ways I would have liked to thank the man for the masculine energy that stopped me from going down those stairs. This happened when I was seven. I am now 20 years old and because of this incident I am still afraid of the dark, especially shadowy stairwells.